Hello everyone again. Can you believe it? We made it to Friday. Well done for joining in all week. Now this week in guided reading, we have been reading the book, Got a Job. And our learning objective has been to begin to blend CVC words, which is when you use your robot arms to sound out each sound and then blend them back together so that you can read the word. Our reading strategy this week has been to use our sounds. Well done to everybody who has joined in and who has been a work hard voice this week. Lots of children have been sending me in their work and it's so nice to see that you're all work hard whizzes at home. Today's really exciting because we get to talk about the book that we've already read. We get to talk about what happened in the book, who your favourite character might be and what part of the story was your favourite bit. But before we do that, do you remember what happened in the story? Do you know what happened first? Do you remember what happened next? Do you remember what happened after that? And do you remember what happened finally? Press pause on the video for some thinking time and some talking time with a grown-up. How did you get on? It's a bit tricky trying to remember everything that happened in the story, isn't it? But don't worry, I'm going to read you the story right now. So make sure you're showing me the four rules of good listening. Sitting still. Staying quiet. Looking at the person who's talking and listening to all of the words. Mum was not well. Dad was not well. Biff had jobs to do. Chip had jobs to do. Can I do a job, said Kipper. Biff got Mum to put her feet up. She got Mum's mug. Can I do a job, said Kipper. Chip got Dad to put his feet up. He got him a rug. Can I do a job? said Kipper. Kipper had a job. He got a big pot of jam. Jam sandwiches, said Kipper. Mum had a jam sandwich. Dad had a jam sandwich. Plot. It is a sandwich picnic, he said. A sandwich mess. A big job, said Chip. Now I'm going to tell you the story using first, next, after that and finally. Can you join in with the actions? First, Mum and Dad were unwell. Next, Biff and Chip got jobs to help Mum and Dad. After that, Kipper got a job but... He made lots of mess. Finally, Biff and Chip cleaned the mess up. Can you have a go at retelling the story using the actions? Press pause on the video and have a try. How did you get on? Did you enjoy it? I would love to see some videos of you retelling the story. So please email me some now. I want you to think really carefully about who your favourite character was in the book. Firstly, can you remember who the main characters were? Mum, Dad, Biff, Chip, Kipper, and don't forget floppy. Think carefully about who your favourite character is and why. My favourite character has got to be floppy. He's always been sneaky in the background and in this particular book he's got his eyes on the jam. Finally, at the end, he manages to lick some underneath the table without anybody noticing. Which part of the story was your favourite and why? Press pause on the video for some thinking time. 
My favourite part of the story is when Mum is wrapped up on the sofa in a blanket and her dressing gown and Biff is bringing her a hot drink to make her feel better. Mum works really hard to look after her three children so it's really nice to see that when she's unwell her children work together as a team to make sure she gets better. Your challenge for today is to create your very own story map for the book Got a Job. A story map gives a picture of what happened first, what happened next, what happened after that and what happened finally. You can include as many pictures as you like. Here are a few examples of what story maps look like. Once you've created your very own story map, can you use it to retell the story to a grown-up? Well done for being work hard wizards today. Now as I promised, I'm going to read you the rest of my book, I Took the Moon for a Walk. And the moon called the dew, so the grass seemed to weep when I took the moon for a walk. We raced for the swings where I kicked my feet high and imagined the moon had just asked me to fly. Hand holding hand through the starry night sky when I took the moon for a walk. We danced across the bridge where the smooth waters flow. The moon was above, the moon was below. And bright in between them, I echoed their glow when I took the moon for a walk. Then as we turned back, the moon kept me in sight. It followed me home and stayed there all night. And thanked me by sharing its sweet sleepy light when I took the moon for a walk. The end. I hope that you have enjoyed today's guided reading session. I know that I have. Don't forget to join in on Spelling Shed and Numbots because your name could be announced in next week's shout outs. Have a lovely weekend everyone and I will see you next week.